now, out here with more Imperion. And as you can see, we've got all sorts of stuff going on. We've gotten a bunch of stuff done. And, um, yeah, so I'm <laughs> we'll do a quick break. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's been a long day. Uh, so I'm going to bring everybody up to speed, show you what we've done, what we've achieved. As you can see, we've got a lot going on here. Um, but first, we have to get started. So let's go. Alrighty. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, like I said, we have gotten a lot done in Imperion. Let me show you what we have done so far. Turn the light on so you can actually see while we're running around. Okay. So, if you notice, we have started, if you remember last time, we started over here. Uh, once we got the mini bike going, we basically were able to scout a bunch of wreckage. Uh, we have mined out a crap ton of stuff over here. And uh, basically what I did is I just went ahead and grabbed a bunch of materials and decided to head west. Right? So if you remember, we basically got out to about here or so on foot and we were wandering around. We finished the mini bike, got all of this, and basically went this way. Now on the way over, we found a couple of things like the destroyed shelter. If you notice over here we hit the ruins. And then we found an unknown building. Basically what happened was is I was going like zigzagging around in here trying to avoid some things uh, there's I think it's right here no it's right here we have a, a corrupted forest area the, the irradiated forest area so basically I ended up having to go around we ran into the destroyed shelter pulled some resources out of there so we've actually got duplicates now of things like our portable constructor we should have yeah, we've got two of those. We've got, as you can see, we've got some other materials in here. And we've got a lot of Promethean because we found, well, I should say, when we got the personal gear, we ended up getting an ore scanner. I've made a detector. And between the two of these things, we were able to find some Promethean. I want to say it was somewhere over here-ish. I don't remember. It might have been up here. But basically, we mined it out. It was a very, very small Promethean node. It was only two rocks. They were ridiculously... <laughs> well, they were actually pretty close together, all things considered. Uh, but we ended up pulling, I want to say, 110, 120 Promethean out of there. So um, we've basically just been cooking things down. As you can see here, we've got a bit left. I think that was all of it. And we've got a little bit more in here, so we could make another 30 packs. Uh, because you get two packs for each one that you create, so we've got roughly, you know, 50, well, we have exactly 15, 15 packs worth, or 15 production queues worth of Promethean pellets left. Let me get that out of there. Sorry, it's been, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, so, we are now almost, well, we, we are, we just hit level 8. Um, survival constructor. Oh, look, we still have food in there. I didn't even realize that. Interesting. So it doesn't, is it? I guess it is technically consuming it slowly but surely. Um, but what we have done is we want to go in here to tech tree. We've unlocked a lot of stuff for the HV. Uh, we were able to unlock up to well you know we've got everything up to level eight but I haven't actually purchased some of the things like the large thruster block uh, mainly because of the fact that I've been spreading the points over into the SV as well so that once we get to level 10 we should be able to throw a, uh, a good SV together fairly quickly I'm thinking when we hit level 9 um, what we're going to be doing is basically getting the mobile constructors together and uh, I think that's about it. Still don't have the armor locker for the uh, for the base, but we do have it for HV. So we're going to be putting an HV together today. And then for CV, we've also been unlocking stuff over here. Basically, just kind of spreading our points thinner than we probably should. Um, but it's working for now, and that's what matters. So 
And then weapons, we haven't really unlocked anything new, just the Assault Rifle Tier 2, which we can't use yet because we can't find Cobalt. Uh, basically, we have to be in a spacesuit to go into the Radiation Zone to get the Cobalt. Uh, the cobalt's a surface spawn there, so it doesn't show up on the resource list. It's just a, a surface rock when it shows up. Once we have cobalt, we'll also be able to use the tier 2 drill. Oh, so yes, it's been a very, very hectic day. Now, what I do want to do is we want to bring these guys out here. We're going to go... Connect is not available. Uh, I keep forgetting you need to be connected on that structure. And we want you. Can we go down a block? No. I was hoping we. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Wow, that's rather horrible. Alright. Oh, uh, because we're going to be building a vehicle bay here. And I'm, I'm wanting it to be somewhat consistent and that's going over that way starting to warm up a little bit so I'm not too worried about hypothermia in the game right now um, let's go yeah we'll go here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go what is that three four five six As close, All right. which is fine because we want to be able to have this thing like that. And I'm thinking because this is going to be for an HV. Well, it's actually going to be for an HV and SV. It's going to be our general purpose landing pad area for now. Oh, we want to have. Since it is going to be general purpose, oh. need to bring that out like so. And like so. And then that way our HV can get up here as it needs to. We can bring this out. Because I don't want to waste the, the resources to make actual stairs. Because I'm cheap. <laughs> but that gets us what we need, right? Okay, so um, some of you are probably asking why I'm using the unknown building. Well, because it's a free base, basically. What you do is if you can find one of these things, uh, you basically have to shoot your way in through the door here. There's a door that is here normally. Uh, once you blow through the door, this area in here there's not really anything in here. It's uh, it's usually an empty area, but the core for it is exposed behind this block here. So if you aim for the corner using either the pistol or the rifle, you can actually take the core out of the building and then put your own core in it. And you have, for the most part, a ready-made base. Uh, works really well, actually. Now, the, the thing that I like about it is because you're taking over the POI, I don't know if this is intentional or not, and it may change. Um, at one point in time, it would basically treat it as a hostile base when you spawn, like uh, when you cord it. So what would happen is that when you put your core into it and you powered the whole thing on, the drone waves would start. I'm not seeing that in Alpha 8 yet. So, so far, this has been a, a safe base build. Now, whether or not that, that remains true, we'll see. And we're picking up more of these. Yeah, so this is going to be a pretty beefy HV build when we're done with it. Um, I do need to get... I don't need it right now, but we will need it eventually. I guess I could... Because if I did that, I could bring the whole thing in. No, I, I, I want it like that. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I've got a blueprint that I want to build. Uh, well, I shouldn't say blueprint. I've got a design that I that I've been working on that I want to build and So we are going to actually go ahead and get started with this this episode may end up being a little bit longer than I was expecting But um, we will see Okay, so that's our HV We are going 
to grab two of these. So we want you there, you there, right? Uh, there it is. And can we do, before we go too far, we want That's where we want the symmetry plane. Yeah. So right for that. Let's make sure that actually took the way it was supposed to. Yes, it did. Right. And you are going to go right. So there should be one. So it's going to be a one, two, three. Cores in the middle. Okay, there. All right. All right. Got a little. Got a little sidetrack. Let's go. One, two, three, four. So let's go here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. We're then going to. Fill that in. Alright, so this comes in one. And then three. Right? One, two, three. So we're going to have our doorway here. Uh, this is actually going to get replaced with a thruster, and there's going to be another thruster on this side. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six from here. Two, three, four, five, six. Thruster there. So thruster here. And while we're thinking about this, let's go ahead and do this. And a thruster on both sides of there, all right? Yes, okay. Now, in theory, this should hopefully work here, all right? Go ahead and put these in here. So, like so, and then we're going to have these. Now, this is actually, I, I don't want to say based on anything in particular. But it is, um, let's say, influenced by, at least very, very, very loosely influenced by a couple of different sci-fi shows. Um, one of them being V. I don't know if anyone's ever seen this. Uh, the old 80s sci-fi. They did, redid it early, the mid-2000s, I think, like around going into the 2010 area, I think. And so I really liked some of the designs. 
and I wanted to do something that was kind of inspired by that um, mixed with a little bit of Star Trek. So you're gonna go that way. Make sure everything is working properly so far. Yes, yes it is. All right. And then we are going to put our other hover engines somewhere back here. Grab, uh, we're gonna put you there, both sides. Okay, that should give us enough lift, I hope. This thing's a little bit heavier than it's probably going to end up being a little bit heavier than I originally had wanted it. But that's okay. There we go. Like so. And then you, good sir, go like uh, that. And what we're going to do here. I did this. Now we're gonna take. We've got three lateral on either side, right? Yeah. Got two, two pushing, two retro. Uh, we're actually going to eventually replace this block. Actually, yes, I think it's this block. Yeah, this block with the angled thrusters once we get them. Uh, but we have to unlock those first. Until we get those, these are going to work basically with what we've got. And then you are going to go... Two. Okay. And from here we're going to turn off the symmetry plane, I think. So we're going to have... Actually, yeah, let's go small ammo box is not there yet. We're going to do, where's my cargoes? Cargo blocks, okay. So, do it. So those are actually gonna go like here. one cargo block on either side that leaves us enough room to put in the constructor and then on top of constructor so what I'm thinking we're gonna do here uh, let's go ahead and get let's get you out of there uh, you know let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of here because I don't need all of this stuff in my uh, Come on. There we go. We don't need all the stuff currently cluttering up everywhere in here. We got more than enough clutter to, to go around. So we do need our generator. Our generator is one by two. Actually need a second one of those then. Well, I guess I could do... Yeah, we can do this. So what we do is we do that. We'll put our generator there. We'll have our crafting station down below. We'll do our two fuel tanks. We'll have those flip like that. And then our two fridges. Now the reason I'm, I'm building these like this is because most of these blocks are not airtight. Or at least some of these, like the fridge, is not airtight. Um, and I want to make sure that we have it well inside so that we're not causing problems for ourselves later on. And that's going to be there. To there. That should protect all of that. This is going to come up. Do 
block there. Okay. And like I said, that'll come out because we're going to put our crafting station, our mobile crafter in there once we have it. So that's going to be a block. That's already a block. Okay. And then we run our next two cargo here. We're going to do our O2 station. And now, something that I don't get to use very often, our new medic station. You're going to sit like so. That should give us blocks we can do that with. We're going to have, before I forget, stations on either side yeah, starting to come together right and then for those who know me well enough yeah uh, don't worry you know that I of horror a uh, large flat plane on my builds so we will be changing that up a little bit here right. and eventually what we are going to have is this will uh, This will be replaced with the large thrusters. So now we want that's the last of our blocks. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that gets us the beginnings of our our little base thing here. Because we are going to build this as a, a mobile base. Let's go ahead. You in here, we're going to... Oh, let's go with the chair. Yes. Okay. I like that. That's... That's working pretty nicely. And what I think we'll do is on either side we'll do uh, this like the uh, the lift areas um, the half ramps to cover this that way we can keep this whole thing airtight the core is going to get moved back here probably in uh, the floor somewhere in the middle back here maybe even all the way back here next to the constructor because as you can see we have a lot of things in here let's go ahead and turn symmetry plane off for now we have a lot of things going on in here. I'm going to make a bunch more blocks. And uh, when we come back, we should be able to get at least a good portion of this uh, further along, if not completely done. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. And we're back. So what we've got going on here is hopefully going to work. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll find out shortly. Now, I will be placing... I do have a... Uh, there's this little thing here, the the antenna, the detector, we're going to be placing up on the roof. Now for now though, we want to start, let me show you what we've done in here, let me bring you up the speed really fast, sorry. Okay, so we did a little bit of reorganizing, we took the stuff that was over here out, uh, we put the harvest module down in the floor to put the clone module, the clone chamber in, and I hope that's, it looks like it's right side up. We have our armor locker here, which I think we can use even with it not being powered on. Okay, now that we have that done, 
we've brought this over. Um, I'm thinking we're going to actually back this off a little bit because I want to put lights in on the uh, up on top here. Let's see. And let's see here. Go. Ah, get back up here. Up here, up here. Oh, way too much jump. Ah. Finite controls. Give me fine controls, please. Sir. I know what we're talking about doing. Are you kidding me? Really? Come here. The, the slide physics are uh, rather. Yeah. Now, did I get. I did. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we want this beast. Actually, you're smaller than I thought you were. So, if we elevate you up. How many, do I have any more blocks? Okay, let's go grab some more blocks. I, I know I've got some being made. We'll grab those really quickly. I'll show you what we're planning on doing, because as, if you've noticed, we put a ventilator in, and I'll come back and I'll clean up the lines. This is basically just a, a very quick rough-in for, for, the, for the design so far. Uh, we have a ventilator back here. We've got our two RCS units, which we added. This thing... Let's see... Med station... Okay. And you are going to come out of there for the... Eventually for the crafting station. The hidden energy back here. We're going to have... Two... Let's have... I may actually do... Three. So what we want to do is we want to do this so we don't lose parts. Okay, apparently we won't lose parts anyway. So what we're going to do... Now the oxygen tanks, the O2 tanks, are not uh, airtight. Imagine that, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to have... Oh, uh, it's one of those days. There it goes. And why did you spawn damaged? You're not actually damaged, you just looked damaged. Alrighty then. Okay, uh, yeah. We're just going to ignore that and carry on with our day. <laughs> <laughs> right. And this is going to come out. I want that to come out one further than the other blocks because this is going to do this to here. And then I'm trying to decide on whether or not I actually want to have a central bar here. Or if I want to leave that open. Because if I do a central bar, it makes it easier as far as getting the uh, windows in. Because what we do is we do this. So we can get in and out of the there. I may need to take those out because you're going to be two by ones. So basically, this is what we're looking at here. Uh, do I want two by ones there? Oh, one by one. On both of those sides, we're going to do two by one sloped over here. Right. No, those are 45s. Okay. And then on these. Do 
this. And then two by one slopes there. There. And no, that's not the one we want. No, that one either. Guess we'll have to. Guess we're gonna have to do that. Okay. Which is fine. I don't mind too much, right? And I think we're just gonna do. those right here like so on both sides and we figure we need to figure out how to get this to do what we wanted to do here because we're gonna need to go if we go this way. With it. Is there some way that I can get you? I guess I could go with Forty-five from there. There. And then we take you out. You out. And we're gonna do this on both sides here. Just to get some of this sorted out here. And you are gonna go. you to go <sighs> like that to like that have you guys like so Gives us a little bit more headroom in here, you know, makes it a little easier to, to walk around, hopefully enjoy the space. And yes, I'm not actually that worried about <laughs> yeah. And then from here, I'm thinking... Oh, let's see, if we do... Hmm, how do we want to do this? I mean, I could just keep it fairly simple. And do something like that. And I'm out of windows. Am I out of windows? I'm out of windows. Let's go grip. Let's go make some more windows while we're waiting, or while we're trying to figure this lines out here. 
Oh, blocks. Let me make a few more. We got that, we got that. Now I'm thinking if we go a two by one, so we have another two by one there. Close that off here. Close that off there. We're doing two by ones. If we do. See, what we're going to run into the problem is trying to get this stuff matched up. I may actually have to take the 2 by ones out that we have there and replace them with one by one slopes. Let's see what we can do with this. We might be able to make this work still. Uh, really? I'm on you. Uh, so we're going to take all that out. Gonna grab that, grab that. So if we do the two by one ramps, right? The two by one sloped. And yes, I know I have to basically take that line out, which is actually fine for me. even just do this. Let's take you out for a second. We do that. Opens up the cockpit space a little bit better, right? See? Uh, you know? Sometimes mistakes are a creative process here. It's it's all a system to keep us all going, right? So if we go, we need to bring this back. So that actually might work. That one there, one there. Let's do the two by. I'm liking that, actually. So if we're in here, we're looking, looking around. We can actually see over there. I might even take the ones above us out and put... Ah, uh, see, that might work really well. Okay. Now the question is, is do we have two by one sl uh, side tipped? Which I don't think we do. I play so many of these games, I'm never quite sure. Let's, let's go ahead and get you mixed in there. Uh, I'm never quite sure which one I'm in at any point. <laughs> oh. Because some of the games have uh, mods that you can use that will provide the things that I'm looking for. 
And I can never remember which ones I have that have mods and which ones that don't. So no, we will have to use these, which is fine. I actually don't mind that. I mean, if we want to be written that, uh, because I'd have to change up most of that design, so yeah. Okay. Need two more, and then, then that is basically done. Let's check something. Am I? Yeah, I am getting XP for placing blocks. Okay, just making sure. What I'm gonna do here. What is that? Okay, so that looks like that is pretty good. We've got this mostly uh, figured out. The doors should be three by three by one. We're gonna cheat a little bit in here because even though we can't make them, this will sometimes. Oh, you're not going to tell me until I make it. Oh, no, there it is. Size. So you tell me size, but you don't. That's really annoying. I think they're 3 by 3x3x1. Three by three by See? Like, you guys are 1x1x3. One by one by That's really inconsistent. And we need to make level 10 before we have those, but we, in the meantime, we can use the shutter doors. Um, and I, like I said, I think the shutter doors have a 3 by 3 by one If not, we'll make it work. It's fun. Alright, let's go grab some power really quick. And... So I'm going to make sure this thing's going to be able to fly under its own power. That's 38%, huh? That's going to get expensive quickly. Huh? Looks like it. Swing ourselves around. All right, so that gets us a mobile base. All right, let's take a look at this really quick. Size class one, it's not too bad. Got uh, just shy of five hours on it. Not bad, not bad. I'll come through and group all of this stuff. And like I said, I do want to move the core. Um, but we'll see. Unlocks at level 7. Actually fairly inexpensive to make considering all of the stuff that we have on it. 25 minute production time. Not bad. And we could, we could very easily bring this material cost down by basically gutting it if we really needed to for some reason. But we do have the uh, medic and clone chambers on board. Oxygen tanks, oxygen station. Yeah. Oh, this looks like uh, looks like it should do nicely. All right, turn that off. Now the nice thing that I like is that we do have four cargo containers. We've got. The ammo boxes, we have harvest boxes. Now, the reason we've got the harvest boxes in here, let me show you really quick, is because once we get high enough level, uh, level 15, I believe it is, yeah, we can get drill turrets. Once we have drill turrets, this thing is going to have drill turrets mounted on it so that we can uh, get, I'd really like to get those, but those aren't gonna be good for the HV. We, we really want them on the, um, the SV, or CV, rather. But yeah, once we have the drill turrets, we should be in a good situation. We can just basically fly around and uh, 
mine stuff out and I'll probably do a bit of a rebuild on this or maybe even melt this thing down entirely and build something that is elevated more off the ground so that we can put a drill turret on the bottom that way you can just kind of park over the node and then drill down to the node now the, one of the reasons why I wanted to do the HV specifically is because I want to be able to do base raids and the HVs are going to help do base raids because since I'm not doing Iron Man um, I want to be able to do some of this stuff anyway and just have some fun with the game and I think that once we get to the point where we get like the artillery turrets it'll be a little bit more interesting for everybody All right. so that being said this turned into a much longer episode than expected well <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about expected, but definitely intended. Um, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to get some of the rest of this stuff set up. I, like I said, I want to get the detector in there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and call this one for now. I want to thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit those like buttons if you want to see more. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Not only do the likes, subscriptions, and even the comments if you leave them down below help the channel to grow. But they also keep you up to date when new things come out and let me know that you're enjoying the content. And well, that's what I'm here for. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy your week, and we will see you back here next time for more Imperion. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Okay, so now we need to get some of this other stuff in here and get some detail work done.